Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to extend markers. That's right, guys and gals. Um, you'll know here, if you've worked with markers in the past, one of the ways you can do it is you can just go bring some footage in, go to your timeline, and then where there's a spot that you want it to stop, you simply press the M key. And you'll notice here that a marker's been made. And then you go forward a little bit and you hit M key, and there's another marker, okay? I'm going to control or command Z out of that so that's not done and it's undid, <laughs> undone, whatever you want to call it. And now I'm going to show you another way. Here we go. We've got the original footage here. I'm going to drag and drop it into the source panel just like that. Now watch this. We're going to extend the marker. So I'm going to drag this little playhead forward and let's say right around here is where I want to mark it. So here we go. I'm going to hit M and that marks it. But now the extended part and why would we do this? Well, maybe we want this section to have text on it, or we want to have some type over top of it, or something like that. So I'm going to hold down the Alt or the Option key on the Mac, and then I'm going to pull it. And now you'll see here that this marker has now been properly extended. So instead of having a single mark, it has a extended mark. And on the timeline, you'll see it's been updated. And again, reasons why we would do this is because this could be a place where we're marking for uh, subtitles or something like that. And if you're in a really, really advanced uh, editing uh, environment, this is a technique that will definitely help you. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I have a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.